So I'm back here again in Florida. Um, this is our condo. I've done one or two videos here. I think I did two last year, <clears throat> maybe one earlier in this year. I'm not 100% sure, but American Best Buy is just the best place on earth. I mean, people complain about how there's like no physical media there, and I'm just thinking, just come to Canada, see what it's like. So I have a bunch of movies here. Some of these, uh, I'd say most of these are from Best Buy, one's from Barnes & Noble, and then I have a Funko Pop and a shirt. I'm gonna just show you it all today, tell you where it's from. Um, I'm gonna start off with the shirt. We'll go to this stuff first, and then we will go to the movie. So this is just, this is from Target. This is just your average Fleetwood Mac Rumors shirt, of course. You know, one of the best albums of all time, iconic. I don't have a lot of white shirts, most of my shirts I have are black, so it's nice to find. I mean, I've seen it a million times, but I was like, you know what, it's like 12 or $13 American, but still. And next up is probably my favorite thing I got. This is um, definitely one of my, my favorite Funko Pops, if not my favorite now. Um, I got this specific edition because there is an entire band version coming out I don't know when, I didn't know this was already out, but that is Robert Smith of The Cure. This is this silver gray one. You can kind of see it's this Hot Topic Expo 2022 exclusive drop. Um, I did not know this was out. I thought this stuff was coming out in like March or something. So they had the standard version of Robert, but I was like, if I'm going to already get the, the whole band and he's just gonna, you know, it's gonna look pretty similar. I think he just has a guitar in that one. Why not just get this one? So this is awesome. And it kind of looks like the Boys Don't Cry thing. And Robert Smith is in my top three songwriters and musicians in everything of all time when it comes to music. And of course, The Cure is one of my favorite bands. So that was an amazing find. But the reason you're all here is for the movies. So let's start off with uh, a movie that a lot of you probably own uh, this relates to something recently but this is knives out on 4k i didn't own this movie this was like 13 dollars. it is a little bit broken there you can you can kind of see it i i had another um edition like i had this i had um a different like it was the same thing but it was just a different copy but um, the, the top, like the plastic on it was ripped a little bit. So I was like, oh, whatever, I'll put it back. And then I grabbed this one. I didn't really realize until we were about to leave that it had that. And then I went to look for the other one and somebody already took it or taken it. And then I was like, whatever. And the discs sound kind of loose, but it's fine. Um, I recently watched Glass Onion. I absolutely loved it. I do prefer this one, but it is very close. And I'm just very glad to have this on 4K because it is such, such a good movie. Um, now I'm going to go to the... Criterion movie I picked up from Barnes & Noble. There were a few there. They're very expensive even though um, This stuff was like 30% off. I think yeah, this one was 30% off But this is the Grand Budapest Hotel. I've been really wanting to rewatch this movie ever since I watched it back Probably two years ago, so I'm very excited to end on here because this is one of the more recent ones I think this came out uh, last year maybe on Criterion and I was looking at the Criterion 4Ks, like they had something like A Hard Day's Night, like the Beatles movie, or um, Raging Bull or The Irishman, like stuff like that. But I was like, I don't own this movie in any format, so why not just get it on here? Because, you know, it, it's director approved by Wes Anderson, and this is one of the, the few Wes Anderson movies that I've watched, and I really enjoy it. I think that when I rewatch it, I'll like, like it even more. If that makes sense. And that one was from Barnes & Noble. These last four are all from Best Buy. This is what I mean by American Best Buy is the best place. So uh, first we'll start off with Carrie. This is recently released, like this month came out. This is the uh, Scream or Shout Factory. Scream Factory is probably the best way. This is the Steelbook. All these movies I have are Steelbooks from now on. So this is something that I was looking at online. I almost bought it online. I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll find it in a store. It is more expensive than I'd like it to be, but this is probably one of the best horror movies of all time. If not, definitely from the 70s, and I rewatched it this year. Loved it even more, so I'm very, very glad, because I didn't own it at all, and um, I got, what do I have? I have Halloween, like the original from um, Screen Factory or Shout Factory, so uh, having this now will be great. I already know the transfer will look great, so I cannot wait to watch it. Probably next Halloween. And then we have, let's go with this one. This is one of the best movies of the past 10 years. This is La La Land. This is just um, a Best Buy. It's like a one of those slipcover steelbooks. I don't know what'll be different about it. If like the two of them will like go off. I, I would open it, but 
I, I think I'm going to save it in the package just like from going back to Canada so they don't get ruined even though they'll be on my carry-on but but still um, I have this blu-ray but I just really love the steelbook and I love the movie so I wanted it on 4k I cannot wait to find whiplash on 4k and I still need to see Babylon and first man I have not seen that but La La Land is amazing it'll look great in 4k and then the last two relate to each other if I have this you already know what the other one will be this is Reservoir Dogs on 4k ignore what this little sick thing is like it's something that you could peel off and we'll come off with this but I love this deal book because when you like it's one of those like this where it has like a slip cover on it but when you move it like the ear comes off and on which is just great with the movie um I kept seeing like the standard 4k but I was like you know what I'll, I'll leave it until I find the um steel book for the 4k because we went to Barnes and Noble first and I and I saw it there and I was like you know what I'll, I'll leave it and then we went to Best Buy and I saw it and I was like instantly grabbed it. Um, cannot wait to watch this one because the Blu-ray does not look the best. Um, I do remember even thinking that like years ago when I watched it and you, know, you guys know how much I love Tarantino so I've got to own this. And finally, if we have that, we have to have Pulp Fiction and this is again the steel book for it. When I walked into Best Buy the first thing I saw that caught my eye was the regular 4K for this but then I walked a little bit and found the steelbook and instantly grabbed it. I love, love this cover. It's just, you know, it's iconic. It's awesome. And there's there's a lot of special features on this. Again, I own the Blu-ray for this. I own all Tarantino's movies on Blu-ray. And then I own Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, like the collector's like really big fold-out one. So that one's on 4K, but now I have these two. And Inglourious Bastards was there, but I've heard the transfer isn't that good. So that's why I didn't get it. But this is everything I got today. And was it quite a bit of money? Yeah, but it's totally worth it because it is very hard to find the stuff in Canada. And if you do, it's a lot more expensive than it is here. So once again, Pulp Fiction. These are I think, oh yeah, these are all 4Ks except for the Criterion one. So Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, Steelbook for those two. La La Land, Steelbook, Carrie, Steelbook. And then Grand Budapest Hotel, uh, regular Blu-ray Criterion. And then Knives Out my Robert Smith exclusive silver thing Funko Pop and this rumor shirt also my brother and I split the cost on this one uh, jersey this football jersey I don't have it on me I don't watch football so you might be wondering why but it's a Bobby Boucher jersey Adam Sandler's character in The Waterboy and I was like this is amazing I don't normally wear orange but in the summer I will because that is so awesome but let me know what you picked up what did you get for Christmas and stuff I know I didn't post a haul or anything it's just because we were going here and this will maybe be my last video of the year or it'll I think this is coming on the first so happy new year guys um, my best of the year for movies list will be coming I just have to watch a few more movies before I make it I just haven't had the time because we're in Florida now all this stuff but Thank you all for watching. Happy New Year once again, and I will see you guys next time. Over and out.